microbial testing. Traditionally, our microbial testing procedures have all been based on the ability to culture the microorganisms. We take a sample of spinach or we take a sample of ground beef and we try and culture a single particular species usually out of that uh, food sample. For example, we might be testing for E. coli, generic E. coli, using it as an indicator organism of fecal contamination. Or we might be testing for salmonella. The bottom line is that these are culture-based tests, they're time-consuming, and they usually test for just a single species or a closely related group of species. In fact, these types of tests provide only very limited information about the sample. We know, and we've known for a long time, that many food uh, uh, matrices are actually large ecosystems of microorganisms. There's many different species of microorganisms there. And now, within the last few years, we have new methods that have come down the pipeline that actually allow us to determine the entire composition of that ecosystem. That's what next generation sequencing will allow us to do. Next generation sequencing is based on sequencing technology that allows us to um, sequence lots of different DNA segments in parallel or in mass. Essentially, we can sequence millions of different DNA segments simultaneously in a single run. What that allows us to do in the short term here is to essentially count all of the microbial species that are present in a given food sample or a clinical sample or a soil sample or a water sample. The technology is actually rather straightforward. One essentially takes the food sample, extracts the microbial DNA from the sample, and then amplifies a particular segment of the microbial DNA, the 16S ribosomal RNA genes, that serves as a diagnostic marker for all of the different species. Every species carries this particular gene, and we have large databases of this gene that allow us to assign this particular gene to a given taxonomic status or a given species status. We then sequence those collections of genes that are amplified from the sample in mass using the next generation sequencing technology. At the end of the day, what we generate is a very large picture of the entire ecosystem, allowing us to count perhaps the top half million to million species that are present in that ecosystem. It's new technology, uh, literally just off the shelf, and it's a very new concept um, for this type of microbial testing. We'll be holding a workshop on October 28th and 29th that uh, will cover lots of different aspects of the technology itself and how one can apply this technology specifically for food testing. So it's targeted for those in the food industry. It's targeted for individuals who have at least some training in microbiology, but one doesn't necessarily need a doctorate in microbiology to follow this. This workshop on October 28th and 29th will be held here on the campus of University of Nebraska-Lincoln. You can follow the links on our website to uh, register for the workshop and get all of your arrangements made. We hope to see you there.